Let's get Charlie Grice going for Great Britain in this one. Better known as a 1500 meter man, but uh, trying a few things out here. Neither of the two the British 800 meter men in Rio. Elliot Giles and Michael Rimmer are here, but look out for, for Boss and Rotich, the leader of the Diamond League. Nigel Amos, silver medalist, here four years ago behind David Radisha. Bram Som is, well, he's a professional pacemaker. European champion 10 years ago in his own right, but uh, spends most of his time pacing in the Diamond League and does it very well. Nigel Amos of Botswana withdrew from the 800 in Monaco last week, has struggled a little bit with injury this season, so we're looking to see what form he's in. Still 22, he's 18 when he finished just behind Rudisha here. Ferguson Chariot Rotic, the diamond race leader after wins in Shanghai and Stockholm. Second in Eugene to Boris Berian. Second at the Kenyan Olympic trials as well to Alfred Kipkita. Uh, Pierre Ombra's boss. Can blow a bit hot and cold. Only fifth at the European Championships behind Kashot and Lewandowski and Giles and Tuka. But has some very impressive runs as well this season. So too Brandon McBride, youngest in the lineup, regularly below 145 this season, the Canadian. Shading of lanes for Charles Jock, what a, a story for him and his family to reach this point. Sudanese refugee and now in the United States team for Rio. Tymon Coopers of the Netherlands likes to take it out quickly. Eric Sawinski suffered in those US trials, came unstuck and will not be there in Rio. Slightly more consistent than Charles Jock throughout the season. Charlie Grice shading a lane here with Jeff Risley, the Australian. Grice coming off that very impressive run in Monaco, 3.33.60 in the 1500 there. A good challenge for him to get involved in an 800 metres race. And Mark English of Ireland it goes on the inside. And there is Ferguson Chariot, better known as Ferguson Chariot Rotich. Should be the man to beat here in the men's 800 metres. The boss just inside Rotich, Nigel Amos in the uh, orange shirt just outside. And Bram Som on the far outside has been asked to take through in 50 seconds to 400 metres and then uh, about 1.16 one to 600. And we'll see how quickly they go. Who can forget that wonderful, wonderful race on this track four years ago when Rudisha was the pacemaker and the winner. And they all strung out behind him and all went to lifetime best times and just a bit of a gap from Song to McBride at the moment, the young Canadian who's following closest. Well, Bram Som doing the job that he's been asked to do, pacing them along, but there's not much interest in that. And there really can't be three weeks before the Olympic Games. It's not about running fast times, it's just about establishing where you are. You look at the outside, Rotich, the Kenyan, who beat the great David Radisha in the third place in the Kenyan trials. And I just wonder, is this a man we're going to be looking at in a few weeks' time? Charlie Grice has impressed so far, using this race as a springboard for his Olympic 1500 meter attack. Ramps up, doing well. McBride following, and then down the back straight, Charlie Grice starting to run well as Boss of France takes over. Boss hits the front, and Amos tries to lift the pace a little bit with that rather ragged style. And McBride, an elegant runner inside, but Boss leading them out at the moment. McBride and Amos in close contention. Charles Jock all the way at the back, and Charlie Grice is beginning to labour a little bit. But here comes Boss. McBride trying to lift the pace, but it's Pierre Ombra's Boss coming through for the victory, surely. McBride, does he still have something? He's closing a little bit, but he's not going to get there. And Boss hangs on, hangs on just from McBride. And Jerry at Rotich came through, Amos in fourth place, but Pierre Ombra's boss, well, he was closest to the pacemaker when Son stepped aside, he took it on. And what a time he's run there, 1.43.88. And he did it the brave way, the hard way from the front. I said that he can, he can blow slightly hot and cold and was fifth at the European Championships, but he was in charge there. Well, I think that was disappointment. A good result for Boss and a surprise result in some ways. He's got the talent. But we see him on the big occasion, doesn't quite do it. Tonight, I just thought he ran a perfect race. But Charlie Grice coming off the track there. He's had a look at the time now, and he'll be absolutely delighted. But here's Boss into the finishing straight. McBride from Canada chasing him. Amos, the Olympic silver medalist. And Rotich, the man who were looking to do well in Rio, both fading a little. Boss holds him off. McBride runs well. Rotich just comes through. 
And finishing there on the screen, you can just see coming into shot at the back. There's Charlie Grice coming into the finishing straight, and he'll be delighted with this. 145.6, what a perfect time to run for him. A personal best for Charlie Grice, which now means when he goes to Rio for the 1500 meters, he won't be contending with these guys, but he's got an awful lot of confidence coming from that. There's Boss, very, very good performance. McBride looks impressive. Amos clearly struggling in third place and Rotic just overtaking him. But these two on the way through, running well, running strongly. There's Rotic in the third place. He'll be disappointed with that. But there they come through. And there's Charlie Grice, about eighth place, but for him, a terrific performance. And I think that's the way you want to go. That's a perfect night for him. Boss wins it. McBride is second. Surprises behind. For me, the run of the night. And a great one for Great Britain, Charlie Grice, 145.6. Yes, confirmation of that. And again, when he was so far down the field, he, he, it rather gives a false impression for Charlie Grice. He's not on the first page there, won by Pierre Ombras' boss, 143.88. Very impressive. So too, Brandon.